the Juicing Masterclass. Get Jay's free juicing ebook. Click the link down below. Now take a good look at this combination. I'm holding it out for you. This is a carrot and beet and a cucumber. And uh, to me, one of the best diuretics. There's not too many combinations or, or, or elixirs that are as good as the carrot, beet, and cucumber. And what you do, you put about equal portions of it. I would put one third of each in a, in a glass. And this combination is primarily to rejuvenate the liver, to cleanse the liver. And it's also a terrific combination for the urinary canal, bladder, kidneys, prostate, urethra, marvelous combination. And cucumber on its own volition is kind of blah, sure, of course. But when you mix it, then it becomes again palatable. And I'll show you how to do this. Now I'm going to cut a piece of cucumber. We're going to use the skin. Now you have to be very aware. You have to be very aware of a cucumber that has that greasy feel to it. That's paraffin. That's petroleum. You might, in that particular case, have to peel it and sacrifice a lot of the food value and the enzymes, of course, that lie in and just below the surface of the peeling. So try to buy a cucumber that isn't waxed like this is. And if you have a problem with wax, let me give you a little a little helpful hint in your kitchen. When you get anything that's waxed, you might, with a pair of tongs, hold the cucumber. Now, the tongs come way out. Now, have some water boiling on the stove. And I want you to, with the tongs, so you don't get burned or have the water splatter. It's boiling water. And I want you to dip the cucumber into that boiling water for about five seconds only. You can't leave it in there a long time like a, a half a minute or even 15 or 20 seconds, you'll lose the enzymes, you'll kill the properties of life. You see, the chemical catalyst, the life force, the electrolytes will be gone because they have a low heat tolerance. So by doing and dipping in there for about five seconds and taking that cucumber out and then maybe waiting another five, six seconds and dipping it in again, you might dissolve the wax. However, I'll have a suggestion for you now. What I think you should do if you need the cucumber for any specific condition, then I would probably opt for the hot house or the hydroponic cucumber that isn't waxed. It has a cell, you know, it's long, and it has a cellophane kind of a, 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 a wrapper around it. Now, I'll show you what we do with the cucumber. You take the cucumber, you cut it into a long length, and then you split it in half again, and you push it right through. This is very simply done. Put both pieces in, and then, and then you pair it. Here's your beet coming through, and there's a leaf in here that I didn't think was too appetizing. Can you see this? That's the beauty of being your own cannery. You can monitor everything. See, this is the only way you can be sure is to make these juices on your own. So you can cut a little bit of that. You can cut it off, get rid of it, and put nothing but the best produce through. And you can you can go out and purchase the number one the number one produce, extra fancy grade A produce. Now, what I'm going to do with the with the with the uh, beet is push it through again because I have some leaves to contend with and I'm pushing this through. Mm -hmm. Great drink for your liver. Great drink as a diuretic. Great drink as a blood cleanser and a hemoglobin builder. Fabulous.